Hi, this is Gadgetman404 and I'm going to do another talk about um, a different camera setup. Now the camera that I use is an action shot from Toys R Us and it costs £15. Now it's quite heavy, it weighs probably 50 or 60 grams. So um, I've noticed that on a windier day it flies it still flies very well and it's more I suppose because of the weight that actually helps to counteract the wind it might take you longer to cut through the wind but then the weight of the camera is actually helping you to fly in a, in a way more stable so I'm going to try and fly with this kind of a camera very little directional lens so you can tip that down tip that up there's like um, SD slot at the back and you rig it up to a single cell lipo now as you can see these connections are different but I don't it doesn't matter about the sound really it's just the important ones is obviously the, the the picture and the power and I think on these it's the yellow that is video and the red which will be power and black is ground and white is audio but like I say I've just got to try and rig up some sort of connection so that will rig up to that and then I'll give that a go because I tried um, another type of camera recently like a, a spy camera and I kept forgetting that basically it was really really light and it was very very calm so as I was throttling it didn't take long to um, to take off at all and you just had to be very gentle on the sticks because the slightest input and you was off and a few times I ended up pirouetting because I was turning it and with the heavier camera you have to turn it a bit more but when it's lightweight and it wasn't very windy obviously it responds a lot quicker so that's what you have to remember if you're setting a camera up if you set it up flat underneath like so you're causing less drag less airflow to disrupt your flight whereas my old camera it hangs underneath quite deep down just about half quarter of an inch off the floor and basically on a windy day it can wobble a little bit because the wind catches the camera so I'm gonna give it a go with this kind of camera on a not so windy day and a windy day and just remember when you're flying with a light camera you don't have to be so aggressive on the controls as on a windy day with a heavy camera because you're just sort of fighting the wind a bit more whereas on a with a light setup camera obviously a little movement does a lot and on a heavy camera and on a windy day then obviously you have to give a little bit more input to counteract the actual wind but um, I want you guys to let me know if you think this camera setup is better than the videos that I normally put out because all the videos of my flights have been with my old camera which is the action shot from Toys R Us I'm assuming you can get it off Amazon and eBay and all that that it should be like a £50 camera because you get lots of mounts to put onto helmets and body belts and all that but I got mine for, as I say, fourteen ninety nine at Toys R Us. And it's been a very good camera. I just want something with a bit better quality. Um, the sound quality isn't that good when you're just talking and videoing with the other camera. It's a bit distorted. So I'm just trying to find a reasonably priced camera that's uh, good pictures good sound but isn't going to cost hundreds of pounds because if you crash 
the camera's the first thing that's going to get banged and uh, obviously you don't want to be smashing up a hundred pound plus camera if you can help it um, I've had several crashes with my big camera and to be honest it's done no damage to it it's in a, a housing with clips onto a special bracket that I've made uh, and it's not caused me any issues really but I'm going to try with this kind of a camera and just see what kind of footage I get with this all I need to do is just rig up a different uh, battery connector on this connection to plug it in because this is from a helicopter which is powered from there's a circuit board and there's a plug soldered onto the board and that is powered from the the very small lipo that's on the helicopter but I want to try with a bigger battery still 3.7 and um, you should get longer video in time because the battery is just gonna power the camera yeah I'm gonna give it a go uh, be honest if you think my videos are worse any better let me know this is a real cool quadcopter just a bit hard to get parts for especially when you just need something there's one place in the UK and unfortunately they don't always stock them I wanted um, an extended battery which is an 1150 milliamp hours and they haven't got them in stock just waiting to get them in uh, they got the 800s which you get about seven minutes but with a 11.50, even with a camera, I did like a, nearly a ten and a half minute flight. And it was breezy, it wasn't gusty, but a bit breezy. And I still got over ten minutes of flight time. So you can get good flight times with heavy cameras. You just need to um, take it easy. Uh, yeah, this is Gadget Man 404 out.